So Adebola Victoria Adefila is the Chief Operating Officer <coughs> of Banrut Rose, Nigeria. As an entrepreneur for 19, 19 plus years, she has spent 14 years in the manufacturing industry with her product brand visibly represented in all 36 states of Nigeria. Hmm. And she currently has offers so many distribution uh, uh, products in some West African countries. Welcome with us again, Mrs. Thank Adefila. Thanks for having me. Thank Everybody you. is telling us to locally produce, locally develop. And a lot of people are having issues in getting into the industry. But before I get into the industry, how did you enter the manufacturing so, industry? Growing up, um, my mom used to import household items. So we ran a household store. Mm. Um, my dad was a civil servant. And he did that for a long time until he retired. So for me, business was just, it was just nothing else other than <laughs> business. It had to be business. So much that I had to do business admin in university. And after doing business admin, I had to do my MBA. So I just knew it had to be yeah. business. But going into manufacturing, so I, we had run the um, household importation for a long time. And it was just started like a casual, very casual discussion with my siblings and I. And while we're discussing, I said, OK, we could do juice. Um, another brother of mine said, why not toothpick? You know, my sister, mm. I think, mentioned something else. And while we were discussing, my mom joined the conversation and we we're talking and she said, what about tissue paper? <laughs> and you know how you mentioned tissue paper and it was like you're in a dark like room and they just put, mm, yeah. put on the light. I was like, mm. tissue paper and all of us just went, everybody oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> everybody uses it. It doesn't expire. Oh, everybody needs it. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's go. Tissue it is. So wait, my mom and I traveled for a fair um, in China and we saw some fabricators of, you know, manufacturers of machines. And from there she said, okay, why don't we just try the facial, the Soviet, all the works. And I'm like, this woman, <laughs> the man that we left in Nigeria <laughs> said, where is it going to get money for manufacturing? So let's not discourage him. And she just, and she said something. She was like, we have toiletry in mind. What if we start and toiletry doesn't do the job mm. for us so when it comes multiple. to cash? So let's have multiple. And so it took us like a whole year. So from the import, um, from the other business we're running, we had to be taking profit. So the days where you have $5,000, we send it. Mm. The days when you have $10,000, you send it. Wow. Until we're done, you know, paying, the, um, paying for, the machine. the, for the machines. I have a lot of young people who say they are looking into starting this sort of business, starting that other business, but they do not have the funds. Mm. And so far, when I hear people like you who say, You've, you, you were able to, you're talking about depositing $5,000. That's huge for some, some sales. Yeah. It didn't happen overnight. No, 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 no. They, they, already, they already do already something. Already, they already yeah. doing something. Yeah. Now, what about someone who has an idea to do this sort of business, but there's nothing, there's no uh, background money somewhere to assist. How do you go about it? So like I usually advise in my class, because I have online and live classes okay. on manufacturing. So like I usually advise um, the entrepreneurs that come to the class, start with the basics, start from where you are. Okay. You might start even as a distributor mm. of that particular product. Mm. You don't have to start manufacturing. manufacturing. You don't have to start pumping in your own money. Mm. You are listening, you are going. You know, the level we started from, some people started 10 times higher than, mm. than that, but that was what we could you know, afford. And, we didn't, and it's a no-no for me. I tell every entrepreneur that cares to listen, you don't start your business with a loan. Mm. Because first year reason? for us was a loss. Mm. And second year, mm. we were barely breaking even. By, yeah. by the third year, we started making good profit, right? So if you had started your business with a loan, what would have happened? Mm. You find out that, okay. so you find out that for entrepreneurs, you're either running around to, for the bank's money, and the bank yeah. doesn't care, doesn't because they're in for business. Yeah. So you're either running for the bank's money, or an investor's money. How would you advise the thinking process on selecting what products internally that we can start? Because everybody wants us to go into agriculture, locally produce Nigerian made, or made in Nigeria goods. But we don't know which made in Nigeria goods we can begin to do. First of all, I will say I will advise from my own experience now, what, we, what it was in, 20, in 2008, 2010, 2015, is not what it is now. Yeah. So if you're going to go into manufacturing of any kind, please, Avoid anything that will, that will let you import anything into the country hmm. because yeah. you don't want to. Now, usually for, so for products, um, agri, agri um, products, you could go into agricultural products, um, skin products, um, so many things, food processing, hmm. so many things. But whatever will not, will desist from, yeah. you know, Import importing. So, yeah. Because um, before earlier on, when we, when we started earlier on, usually... Um, from the port of departure 
of your raw materials to, to Nigeria, to the factory, maximum 45 days. Now we're doing 120 days. Oh, mm. I kid you not. Mm.